Billy Singleton, chairman of the Alabama Aviation Hall of Fame and vice president of the Wright Brothers Maxwell Field Museum, spoke in Thursday's Food for Thought. Food for Thought occurs on the third Thursday every month, varying in speakers covering topics of Alabama history and is free to the public. The subject was early aerial experimenters in Alabama, and these experimenters were residents or natives of Alabama who actually conducted experiments into heavier-than-air flight uh, in the years preceding the Wright brothers. The Wright brothers developed the nation's first civilian flight school here in the capital city, and although the brothers were here for less than a year, they left a lasting impression. Such an impact that the city of Montgomery dedicated a park to the heroics of American aviation pioneers so that their legacy is always among us. The first flight of, of a heavier-than-air machine over Alabama was made by Orville Wright on March 26, 1910 as part of that school. So they were here for two months, so we're very proud to be a part of that uh, legacy. The Wrights chose Montgomery to build the school due to the region's short winters, mild climate, and flat farmland. The establishment of the school marked the beginning of a noteworthy aviation heritage in Montgomery. It was further amplified by the arrival of military flight training at Taylor Field less than a decade later. As we, the state has developed its um, aviation and aerospace industry, I think that's an important concept to keep in mind that uh, we were one of the early, if you will, innovators in this process. And so I'm really encouraged to see that we're developing that aerospace uh, and technology uh, moving forward because we have such a historical legacy. Next to North Carolina and Ohio, Alabama is one of the biggest in aviation history, with the capital being the first century of powered flight. In Montgomery, Rachel Wilkerson, Troy Trojan Vision News.